Hey guys, welcome back to Bloodborne. So today we're going to go and explore Hemwick Charnel Lane. I'm sure that's what it's called. Um, so I've just started walking down in that direction now. I was umming and ahhing about what I should do about my playthrough because obviously Eileen died and I had to kill Adela, I think her name is, the nun. And obviously... Oh my god. And obviously I was not like really happy about that, which understandably so. Wow, this is... That was a very chaotic and intense like minute. That's not what I thought would happen as soon as I walked into that area. Um, yeah, so Eileen's died. Had to kill Adela because I sent her to the wrong place, which was dumb. Um, and I was like, should I just start all over again? And I decided that no, I'm not going to start all over again. I, you know, this is like my first playthrough. Like, yeah, like I never finished this game. This is my first playthrough, like since lockdown. I don't remember a lot of the game and a lot of places to go and I don't know I feel like it's fine to make mistakes on your first playthrough and then in New Game Plus I'll probably do Eileen's quest line and make sure that she doesn't die um so yeah that's sort of where I'm at with that Oh god, the plant scared me. <laughs> Is that gonna go on the scare meter? Maybe. Okay. I think I'm just gonna go down this way. What are these dudes? Wow, they, they're quite tough. Can I open this? Yes. Oh, a lamp. Yes, yes, yes. I um, don't remember. Oh my God, the ladies laughing made me jump already. Yeah, I don't remember this area at all, so um, I'm probably going to get lost, which, yeah, obviously, as per usual. I also don't want to run past these guys and, like, not come back. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and buy some blood vials quickly now I've found the lamp. And then I will come back. We'll go up the hill and see if there's anything there that I can farm and then we'll continue through the area. So I will be right back with my blood vials ready to go now that I've managed to find a lamp. I have um, my little buddy. <laughs> he needs a haircut so bad. <laughs> I've just finished work so he's like all over me like super... He's um, blocking the screen, shaking his head. I deserve to die then. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've just finished work. So he's like very invested in everything that I'm doing and he has to sit on me. Um, so you'll hear him like shaking his head and getting involved. But he like ducks his head underneath the remote. So if you try to... Um, the remote the controller he ducks his head under the controller so he um oh god am i gonna die again i feel like i'm running out of stamina really quick actually
Wow, I parried him by pure accident, but it's because I was stuck in the corner, not because... Um... Jesus. Oh. This is probably the way to do it, like actually run for the lamp and then come back getting a lot of bullets in this area which is great they must be guarding something good i um i watched back some of the footage from the last couple episodes and um i holy crap i um feel like i'm like so shy in the first couple of recorded episodes oh come on so shy yeah in the first couple of episodes and i feel like i I've gotten used to oh my lord <laughs> bruh yes i've gotten used to um like talking to the camera a little bit more now which is great because the first couple of episodes i feel like i'm so shy and i'm not shy in real life i'm like uh what do you call it like an introverted extrovert so i'm like I don't like to be the center of attention, but with the job that I do and stuff, like you do find that you are the center of attention a lot because you work, I work in like a customer facing like role. So a lot of times you have to speak to a lot of different kinds of people and stuff. So I'm not really like shy in everyday life, but I don't really like to be the center of attention. So I feel like I'm getting there though. I feel like I'm like getting used to speaking to the camera and stuff, which is great. I feel really like happy about that. I feel like they're not gonna be as nice as the Bloodborne ladies. Not Bloodborne, the Alden Ring ladies. Yeah, she. I think in Alden Ring they don't aggro um unless you hit them and their eyes turn red but obviously in this one they aggro straight away i feel like the way that they run towards you is gonna make me i can hear footsteps um it's gonna make me jump out of my skin so much in this episode oh god how do I get up there? Can I hit that? Am I being thick? You can't jump in this one, can you? I can hear feet! Oh my god! <laughs> oh. <laughs> How do you get that? Oh, can you drop down? That would make more sense. I feel like that's my thing. Some people on like YouTube are like really funny and they're like jokes. Like I feel like Jacksepticeye is like really funny. Um, Gab Smolders like is like a very methodical like player. Like, oh God. People have like their niche. I feel like mine is jumping out of my skin at anything and everything. That's my niche. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh my god, she's got amazing reach. Hi. 
she gonna come down here? Oh! Gosh, she was quick on the old steps, wasn't she? So, I'm just checking that I'm not missing anything. Aha! I can hear something. It's all oh, thanks to insight. Oh, what's this? Oh. What the hell is down there? That was the scariest noise ever. Oh. Maybe she'd stubbed her toe. I don't know. That's normally my reaction to that. Oh, he coming. Oh! Come on. Yeah! Nice. Let's get this. God, his body attached to me. God, I'm so jumpy. It's unbelievable. Self to blame there I got stuck I did the same thing I always do I panicked and I got stuck not ideal <laughs> oh what was that oh look there's a big executioner there he's definitely gonna kill me <laughs> Okay. Let's try not to get killed here again. Awesome. and kill this dude. Okay, what's down here? I feel like I have loads of echoes again. What is this? Oh. That's a nice little shortcut, isn't it? I have no bullets because I've been trying to parry a lot. <laughs> I'm going to go and buy some bullets and vials. I feel like I don't have enough and I know for a fact I'm going to walk into this boss. So I'm just going to go and stock up quickly and I'll be back again. Okay, I'm back where I was. Uh, I've got blood vials and I've got bullets. And look at this little chill dude. Ah, look little pal love that oh he's not okay we'll leave him <laughs> uh 
this way. Come on. Seriously. that barn door is so ominous like I'm gonna roll oh god bye oh I thought I'd oh wow thought I parried her then. I really need to stop panicking and I feel like that's easier. Oh I have a lantern let me go out here and put that on. I feel like that's easier said than done you know like I'm like oh don't panic but this game does give me dread. <laughs> I think I've jumped more playing this game than I have at anything ever. Any film I've ever watched, anything. This game has made me jump more than that. Um, I can't, like I'm jumpy, like I watched a film the other day that wasn't even scary. It was that, oh, come on. Oh. Yes. It was that um smile has have you guys seen it? That horror film smile. And it's not even that scary, but for some reason because I'm really oh. oh. Bye then. Because I'm jumpy like that film makes me like, like that film made me jump, but it wasn't even that scary to be honest with you. I can't believe that guy just clipped through the ceiling. I can't go in there. No. Hi. You okay, buddy? Who wants all the kisses? Don't you? Yes, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. You're so cuddly. Like, whenever I'm in a room, he has to come and sit with me. <laughs> Sir. Excuse me. You want to cuddle, don't you? Well, hang on then. Hang on. Oh, careful. Good boy. I feel like I should get a dog cam so you can see him. I tried to parry him, didn't work. Second time's the charm. I just noticed that there's, oh, there's a dog there. 
But there's an item. That's not what I noticed. I noticed that there... Dum -dum. Yeah, I noticed that there's a... Um... Item all the way over here. I feel like there's something chasing me. No, I heard feet, but it must be down here. Don't know if this is the way to go. Yeah, there. I want that. I'm guessing I'm going to have to go down there because there's loads of dogs and stuff. So that is probably the way to progress. But, um... Oh god, look at all these piles of bodies. Oh. oh, there's two. If there was one, I feel like I could be brave, but... There's two, and I don't know if I'm going to survive. Oh, hang on. I don't know if I'd survive getting hit by two. I think I'll try and take on one. Oh, the troll's there. Did I not kill him? Oh no, I took the shortcut. So I can go left, or I think I can go right. Let's try and kill him. There's a sneaky little lady. Oh, that's the one I knocked off. I was like, oh, there's a sneaky little lady here. I knocked her off, that's why. So this is the way with the dogs, I think. Oh my god. Oh god, there's like five of them, Jesus. That was pure panic. My god. My god. I'll be right back. Big nasty. I've just ran up the hill. I'm going to kill these women. Or I'm going to attempt it. Oh god, he's coming. Oh, that's not fair. I don't know who has my blood echoes. I, I don't even know. Oh, the dogs. The dogs on the other side. So I'm going to I'm gonna go and try to get them back. But I saw that this dude had a little chest as I ran past. That I could see for some reason. But um, when enemies are right in front of me. I can't see that. I don't know why. Okay. I'll come back to here because I don't... I don't know which way... I think it was this way. Yeah, here we go. Ooh. Wow, that was, um, Give me a break, lady. Oh. You are not going to be the death of me. 
Let me tell you. I have a lot of echoes. I thought that was like pick up item, search body. Ooh, a lake. Okay, there's no one just gonna kill me. I need to get better at reading items, I know. Increases physical damage reduction. Oh, that's great. I don't know if I... I don't think I can equip runes yet. I'm pretty sure I can't. I think I need to get the tool for it. It's still in the workshop. Um. So hopefully I get that in the next couple areas because oh. physical damage reduction would be great. Because I know like bosses are going to get harder. There we go. So I want to make sure that I always have more blood vials at any opportunity. Okay, so now I've gone back and I've got what I need. I'm going to go up that hill and progress further into that area. So I'll get back to that point and then we'll jump back in. Okay, I'm back where I was at that hill. I'm going to try and run up here and not get that dude's attention. Oh my god. Oh, he coming. Nice. Nice. So I just bought um, all blood vials with the echoes that I just had. The sounds in this game are terrifying. I feel like I don't want to read the note. Oh, I think this is the boss. Oh God. Oh. here oh keep running out of stamina really easy I don't know if it's like I'm doing something super wrong where is she surely I've missed some stuff in that area though oh. is she here yeah, I feel like I've missed some stuff in that area because um, it felt really short. I don't know if that's how it always is. How do you know where she is? I thought there was a red spot, but now I can't find her. Oh. Like, I felt like I could see her the first couple times. Do you wanna... Who just gave me grief? Oh, there you are. So there is a red dot sometimes, or, or not.
why isn't she dying? Is that her? Look at her just like walking up the hill, so casual! The other one's back alive. That is ball. Hey. seems to be like oh she's throwing stuff now there seems to be like a significant increase in like all the little dudes that are coming to life now like there's like three of them walking around now well there was i know that you oh Oh god. I know that you probably shouldn't focus. Oh god. Come on. No. Uh, you cheeky little witch. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. This is ball. there's a third one now oh no are you gonna die are you gonna die please die oh oh my god wow i was like oh this is chill this is easy and then all of a sudden the next thing you know you're being held in place by a big ring of magic I thought there was going to be a third one. Okay, so those I'm going to put into a level. Good hunter. Um, what is it you desire? Very well. Let I feel like I don't want to level strength. too much, but if I do a boss, I'm going to level. But I think Let if I collect hunter. stuff, collect blood Let echoes in the level, die. I probably won't level too much. Awesome. Farewell, good hunt. I'm gonna see if I can fortify and repair. Yay! Does fortifying automatically? Oh, I have a second slot now. I think. No, I have one slot? I don't know. Um, yeah, I feel like... I need to finish my sentences. I feel like um, I don't want to level too much. I think I have the best one on. And she gave me something and I didn't even see what it was. Workshop tool, so I still haven't got that. What did she give me? Ooh. Should I? Gold blood jam, ooh. Uh. 
Um, gold. Physical attack. Attack versus beast up. Yeah. You guys should let me know if I just change that because I just don't know. Um, so let me know. Let me know if I should change that. I'm just gonna buy some more vials and bullets, and the more I've got in storage, the better, I think. Um, and I think that was the whole of Hemwick Channel Lane, I'm pretty sure. So that was um, easy ish. I, I mean, the first five minutes were classically chaotic, and I died a lot, but yeah. I feel happy i feel happy with that i feel like that went relatively well i feel like that's another boss checked off the next area i remember very well funnily enough because i was watching a bit of um gab smolders one of my videos that i was watching on youtube finished the other day and that came up as the next video and it auto played and i know full well what the next area is i don't know how to get through it or go to it but i know that um the forbidden woods is the next area and i think i remember the boss from the next area as well so i have literal dread for that so thank you so much for watching the next episode of bloodborne if you've got any suggestions of like if i've missed anything or what i should do then leave it in the comments think i'm just gonna go and make sure i've exhausted all of the dialogue down where ariana was because i think there was a guy there and i think if you don't exhaust his dialogue um he ends up going to odin chapel and kills everyone so i'm just gonna go and double check that i've done that and get that out of the way and i will see you in the next episode and we will go to the forbidden woods thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe well i've certainly done to be gone with you I'll have nothing to do with you, but... Well, what's this two-bit nonsense you're peddling? I heard you told that wench about some shelter. Well, she's a damn fool to trust her, right? Well, her sort's probably just fixing to feed some of your koi. <laughs> uh, all right, what crafty lies if you think I'm an easy mark? Okay, so if you tell him to go to Odin's chapel, he goes to Yosefka's clinic and he's like, haha, I'm not falling for that. So. Huh. Yeah, sorry. Too sharp for that, bollocks. I know a superstition when I hear one. Outsiders. Even their lies are predictable. Okay, so he's going to go to Yosefka's clinic now. So that is taken care of, which is great.